Hey guys, Chaps here, and this is strange, but we've got another developer stream recap. Last time, Dana was joined by Michael to discuss PvE. Today, Jonathan Taylor and Jim Bob are on for some highly anticipated PvP chat. This was a pretty short stream, and just as with the last one, I'm going to exclude a bulk of the information that was included in the blog post. This is basically just the new information from the stream. So, let's hop into it. But now, it's just worth calling out too, like, uh, people may have already read in, the uh, wrote, read in the blog about the way we're bringing it out, but we're bringing it out as the event playlist, so it'll be yeah. uh, Blitz, but it will have all the tuning changes in it, and it'll give you access to a lot of the new weapon tunings as well, so we're excited to see how people... Uh, enjoy the playlist. We've we've uh, trying to change the maps up a bit too, so that way in that playlist you'll get mostly uh, the new maps, uh, especially the stuff coming out with Op Five, which we're really happy about. We put a lot of time and effort into those. It's a shame we can't quite talk about those a bit more yet, but uh, yeah, yeah, excited for folks to get their hands on those, and it'll be a really easy way to see those if you hop into the uh, Blitz uh, like featured playlist. You'll get a chance right. to get a hands on the tuning as well yeah. as part of that. And then once, uh, the, so like like Op Five, like always, a playlist is going to go like our, our special events. For verses are going to go week to week. Once the classic blitz moves out and we have a new playlist coming in, we are going to move the tuning into the developer's playlist so you guys can continue to get your hands on it and so on and so forth. Yeah, I'm not sure why so many people were confused over the tuning changes. It was clearly mentioned that they were developer playlist things, but whatever. The main thing here that I'm excited about is that the first week we'll have that playlist that makes it more likely for us to see the new maps. I can't wait to check some of those out. Yeah, so we, we changed the uh, way MVP is calculated, so it is based on your uncapped GP, so not about where you end up, but like where you would have ended up, so that way that if two players are actually like reach the max GP, but one has like significantly higher like stats than the other, that person would be considered the top player in the match. And then as part of that, we gave the player that on each team that reaches that top player position an extra bonus GP. So it really is an incentive to play hard and try to be the um, player that actually has the most GP on that team and is working hard the entire time. Can you talk about how like the points aren't, you can't stack it, like there is a method to it. That, that's right. So like originally it was a win bonus of 1500 GP. Um, so we, instead we spread that out around uh, rounds and the win bonus uh, for the entire match. So if you say for instance in a King of the Hill match, uh, you win two rounds and then you win the match. You get 500 rounds for or 500 points for the round one, 500 points for round two that you won, and the 500 points for winning the match. So it still adds up to that 1500. But what it allows is if a team wins a round but loses the match, you still get good benefit for that hard work you did. You you don't get like no nothing for winning that round. It's something that was original, uh, was oversight in the original design. So we, we spread those points around a little bit and we raise the overall ceiling a tad bit to allow. Uh, for that to work in, in uh, 2v2, but the other modes stay right at 1500. Um, yeah. But yeah, it just gives you a benefit for playing hard, even if you don't win the entire match, if you pick up a round, you still get a pretty good chunk for it. The big change is we removed Gridiron uh, from Ranked. Um, we wanted to be able to support Gridiron, and we, we put a lot of emphasis and focus on it. We're still looking at ways that we can improve the design that we have there, but what we found is the matchmaking health for Gridiron in Operation 4 just wasn't where we needed it to be. So we didn't want to keep it around in the state that it was. Um, we have a few different things that we're, we're playing around with. We're not sure what all we'll be able to do to make changes to it uh, in the near term. Man, I gotta say the removal of Gridiron and basically any single life mode was my main issue that I had with this update. I'm really going to miss it, and hopefully it doesn't take them too long to get it fixed and back in the rotation, even if it's just in social. Jim, do you want, Jim, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, the two-stack and, and, and TDM? Or not two-stack, but the duos? Well, the there's, a, there's a big difference between four people or four or five people coordinating together and just two, like two different duos. Like, it's it's less, like, setup orientated because, like, TDM, when you're in a group of like a full group, you can really just manipulate people coming out of spawn and sit in those spawn protection zones and basically cover every angle once you get a couple of kills. It really just slows down the pace of the map and people, like, I feel like there's not much you can do besides, like, randomly switching the spawns that would solve that, but even then people would just turn around and set up the opposite direction idea of what is the intention of the developer playlist, what are some of the things, and I think what I would like to know is, what are the things that we kind of look out for? So as people are playing and, and, and that kind of stuff, like, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's figure that out. Well, the, the idea is to um, create a more classic style feeling of Gears, right, without losing some of the aspects we have with Gears 5, with like fluid niv movement and like the freedoms people have, right? 
trying to get back to a, a more weighty feel the Gears of War that we've kind of missed in like some some changes during Gears of War 5 that made it feel floaty and then um, with, with adding more weight which kind of makes the game feel slower than it is we need to address that through um, weapon balance as well right so in pre previous games like the especially like Gears 1 UE and Gears 2 right the like the rifle play was very situational it was it was strong it was strong when people were making bad decisions or caught, caught out of position but like it wouldn't eliminate people trans going from a to b right as a single user people were able to navigate the map without being like suppressed where they can't feel like they can do anything and uh, we're trying to like get that rifle play back into gears where it's it's more it's more dependent on the situation uh, Jonathan, can you talk about how the ranked reset is going to work? Oh yeah, so you're going to drop uh, five tiers, that's not five ranks. So like a tier is gold one to gold two. So five of those from wherever you're at. And then um, that's about it. I think this will work really well. Resetting everyone to bronze clearly isn't the answer because then we end up with the mess that we had in Operation 4. But now that everyone's established, everyone can just drop a little bit and fight your way back up to where you were. I think this will work out nicely. Nicholas asked, like, is there any changes to Gridiron, right? So, um, within custom games, there'll be three options added. There'll be a, a end zone capture time, so you can adjust the amount of time it takes to capture the flag. We've added an option to delay the flag spawning. So, if you want, like, a more execution-style feel, but there's a, there's a thing that spawns in that creates, like, a neutral objective on the map, we can delay that flag spawn, and that will be the, like, the stalemate breaker. And then also we've added the option to contest ring, uh, contest the um, end zone capture. Oh my god, what? How was this not included in the notes this week? This is huge. Those are three really big things that people have wanted, especially that middle one. I'd venture to say that a lot of the pros are really going to want to try out Gridiron for esports now, and I know a lot of casual players who really want this option as well. Is the Scorcher going to be a retroactively added to the current maps as well as the Claw? Yes. Yep. Well, the okay. Scorcher 100%, but the Claw after we um, get some feedback is... If we get the Claw into a, like, a really good spot, and it's like it provides like unique gameplay, and it like, adds to the gameplay of Gears of War, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so we have the Scorcher on a few uh, existing maps as well, so we wanted to make sure we give people a chance to get a hold of it in a lot of different situations, and it allows us to really interject some new gameplay into maps. Uh, so, yeah, we've been placed... I think it was the buzzkill on District, and there's like two or three other maps that now have the Scorcher. Yeah. I'm just going to say, because I'm not going to go through them all right now, there have been some changes in Escalation that we're testing out, that there is going to be a custom lobby version of, of the new Escalation. We're going to announce all of the specifics around, uh, and there's just too much to list in this scenario right now. We'll get something out next week, and, uh, and we're going to set that up as well. Uh, in terms of customs and, and, and much, it's almost like a secondary dev list that we want people to go and play and give us feedback on all of those changes. It's gonna, it's really, I will leave it at this, is the two gentlemen who are sitting below me right now have done an excellent job at simplifying the mode down and really kind of just making it feel a little bit more intuitive, a little bit more natural. And that's gonna do it for this recap. If you missed yesterday's, it was all about PvE, and I'll have a link down below. As usual, if you think we've earned it, please consider liking and hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in Operation 5.